I have always had short, thin hair. My hair does not grow fast. It never has. In fact, my only baby picture is of me at maybe 9, 12 months. And I'm bald everywhere except right here. I have a little patch of kinky, thin, extremely short hair just right here. And it's all over the place. It's clearly uncombed and my only baby picture and that's how I look. So I remember asking my mom, why didn't you do something to that? To that? Why didn't you brush it or comb it or grease it back or something? And she said to me, well, nay, I, I tried to, but you wouldn't let me comb it. <laughs> so I tell you that story just to say, always had thin, short hair, and it hasn't really changed. In fact, there's only been three periods in my lifetime where I have had kind of, sort of, maybe long hair. Um, the first time was when I was a teenager and I had a jerry curl. The second time I was in my early to mid 20s and I was doing roller sets every week and that looking back I realize now was a semi protective style and that's why my hair grew. And the third time was in my early 30s when I had actually been natural for one year and then I went and had my hair relaxed and my hair was pretty long for me anyway. Being natural has been quite an experience. It has not increased my hair growth in, in any way possible. Um, it still grows very slowly and when I look at where I am at the end of two years compared to some others who started out with hair shorter than mine, it can get a little depressing. But you really have to kind of learn to accept your hair for what it is and for what it does and just be at peace with it. I think you have to be careful about buying into the notion that you need to buy all these products to put on your hair in an effort to get it to grow. I think topical applications are fine in their place, but you have to remember that that's not going to make you into a fast grower. It may increase your growth a little bit, but if you are genetically a slow grower, I really doubt that there's too much you can put on your hair to increase your growth. For me, it's more of working on the internal because your hair grows in to out. It starts within. So for me, it's more important to work on drinking more water, watching what I eat, exercising, and taking a multivitamin. I've been natural since early 2007. I actually wore a kinky twist for two years before finally deciding in 2009 that I wanted to really learn how to manage and deal with my natural hair. So I started watching all these videos on YouTube and I was amazed at the amount of knowledge that was there for free. And I was learning so much about my hair and I was getting so excited and motivated watching all these natural haired women talking about their hair and demonstrating what they do to style and take care of it. However, there reached a point where I started feeling bitter. I would watch some of these YouTubers and they had very long, beautiful, curly hair and they were doing amazing things with their hair and I couldn't do any of that. My hair did not look like that and I was unhappy. I was really dissatisfied with with my hair. I mean, 
there was a point where I looked in the mirror and I hated my hair because my hair didn't look like those YouTubers. I finally decided that in order for me to get past that and learn to accept my hair for what it was and what it could do, I had to stop watching certain YouTube videos. I needed time to learn about my hair and learn to love it. And once I reached that point of gaining knowledge, of learning what my hair could do and what it couldn't, and finding some beauty in my hair, was I able to go back to watch uh, those YouTube videos. And that took, that took a little bit of time. And sometimes I still look at certain YouTube videos and I, I look at how gorgeous their hair is and I think, my hair doesn't do that. <laughs> But I move on. That's natural. I think sometimes we do have hair, we do have hair envy. We acknowledge it and we move on. <laughs> if you know that you are a slow grower, don't do length checks. I learned early on to avoid length checks because if you're constantly checking your hair and testing the length and seeing if it's growing, you get frustrated because you're not going to see dramatic growth like some other people that you watch on YouTube. If you are a slow grower, you have to learn patience and constantly measuring your hair, even if it's at three, four month, month intervals, you still start to feel a sense of frustration because your hair is not growing as fast as some other people's. So I don't do length checks. I don't measure my hair to see how it's growing. I did that at the very beginning of my journey. I stopped doing that. So I have no documentation of my hair growth over the two years except for my Ayurvedic hair powder videos. I've done so many of them at different points in my hair journey that that really truly has become a way that I can see my growth over a period of six, seven months. If you are a slow hair grower, accept it and just make your peace with it and just enjoy your hair at the length that it is and it'll grow. It'll just take a little longer, but it will grow. All right, guys, you take care. Bye.